I'm not going to disturb you again after this. My friends say I must not send people away in the box. I must not make an exception. Never. No. Hmm. I will even cook something for you and your friends. You would do that? We are hungry very often. Sure. Scout's honor. Okay, let me know. You must call back this box in 10 minutes. Okay. Thanks. You're a great help. So, I wonder if we're actually on a time limit. Or going to be. Well. Um. You can send me down now. Okay. That's Ricky, a bit... Send her down. That is a bit confusing, I have to say. Oh, that has to be sickening going that fast, but... Alright, let's, uh... This is the box with the videotapes. I can see that. It's jammed. Well... Unjam it. There are two. <laughs> A videotape on the power plant accident and one on, on the climate conference. I don't care what Salvador says. I say we must talk to the people. He'll realize that I'm right. Mm, I'm not so sure. <laughs> this box is the reason why the tapes couldn't be brought up. A plethora of transparent boxes. Well, let's browse. That would take decades, and most of it wouldn't be of interest to me. Okay. This depot is unthinkably huge, and there is still a lot of room left to store things. Yeah, it's very inefficient in its storing, I have to say. It's just everywhere, there's tons of space. Even here, tons of space. So, I got inside the box and waited. I don't remember for how long. Ten minutes? Half an hour? Nothing happened. Your friend left you hanging in there. He probably didn't like you telling him how to live his life. Whatever. He had betrayed me. Great. Now what? Hello? Time Travel Control Center? Come in, please. Gwadi? Naomi? This is Faye. Can you hear me? Abort mission. Lost. We have... Lost. Yes. Echoes from the others. Yes. Hmm? Ben Spenson is our safe... Ben Spenson? I never said that. Hello? Hello? Who's speaking? Yes. What? I said make some sense. And stop cackling like a chicken. Where are you anyway? Um... I caught bits and pieces of a time interference. Wow, congratulations. That must be the difference between a professional radio operator like you and a layman like me, then. When I radio, I always receive clear messages. No. You don't understand. I heard myself. Not now, but later. What I'm trying to say is, I said something I haven't said yet. We communicate through time. What did you expect? Uh, for things to get very unclear and fucked up? Then that's exactly what happened, yeah. <laughs> Why are you on? Delvin repaired our radio. We can contact each other now whenever something new comes up. Something relevant. Something important. Something that helps the mission. Hysterical babbling is not on that list. Stop being a fucking douchebag. Does the name Ben Svensson ring a bell? Svensson. That should ring every kind of bell. Even for you. He is the one who's been supplying us with energy for centuries. That's it! Yeah. Who would have guessed there was a connection between him and the Svensson generator, right? No, I mean, that's it! I have a plan! I know how we can prevent the catastrophe! That's all well and good, but we can't do anything without the tape. Oh boy. So, basically, 
since we received a message from the future, we are at the end of this game. Going to be in the future where we're going to be sending the message to this point in time or something. It's that's kind of what I'm seeing now, but um, yeah. Also, to to answer to Salvador, just um, you know, there's gonna be more than one Svens in in the world, right? You know that. It's like I don't know how common of a name it is, but I'm sure there's more than one. I've got the tape. I've even got two tapes. One is about the catastrophe, and and that's the even more interesting one, a recording of the climate conference a week earlier. Then what are you waiting for? Bring it to me. I can't. I'm trapped. Just great. Where? In the archive. A, a friend was supposed to get me back out, but I'm still waiting. A friend? Just stay where you are. Over and out. And she just sits there, waiting. Nice box. I hope they don't produce you in quantities now. Thanks for your help. You said you got the tape? There you are. Good job. And here's the second one. Okay, about the plan. We travel to the climate conference and tell the people there about the Svensson generator. After that, they'll shut down the power plant and poof, the climate catastrophe will never have happened. Where, where is my friend? He refused to cooperate. I had to minimize the risk. Did you? Yes, and here. You can keep the video of the conference. I don't intend to sacrifice the mission for some diplomatic mumbo jumbo. The power plant will be our target. What? Give me back the tape right now. If we travel to the power plant, even more people will die. We will go to the conference. It would be in your best interest, too. Now you made me curious. Um... You know anything about the time we're traveling to? That is true. Hmm... That, yeah, I think the third one makes more sense. We must find a long-term solution. Even if we save this one power plant, another one will explode somewhere else. Forcing humans to change won't work. We must convince them to change. We'll see about that. Was that all? That's still not enough for you? All right, I'll let you go to the conference. It's the better choice. You proved your intelligence and skill today. You altered the drill on your own and repaired an alien terminal. I'm sure you won't have a problem getting the second time capsule up and running again. What? In case you haven't noticed, there's only room for two in our capsule. And I decided to take the mechanic with me. You want to leave me here? Yes. And one more thing. We can't avoid violence. People who have to die, will die. Thank you for your dedication, Faye. Farewell. Wait! Since you are here with me now, I guess you managed to repair the second capsule. No. I tampered with theirs. <laughs> oh boy. You can't just leave me here. Delvin! I'm sorry, Faye, but I... Um... Delvin is more important than you are. He will ask you to kill people. Faye, please, I must not make a mistake now. The video is in place. The time jump will begin immediately. I can't do anything about it anymore. But maybe I can. Like what? L what am I supposed to do now? The time capsule seems almost ready for takeoff. Think of something, Faye. How can I totally screw them up? Well, I could take the video. Hey, please put the tape back. But I'm just following. <sighs> hmm. What if I switch them? I switched the tapes when no one was looking. Okay, all's ready. Time jump initiated. Pulsar on maximum power. Target coordinates logged in. Quantum signature of the video. 
Something is wrong. My God! Abort time jump. Too late. The time drift will tear us apart if I don't readjust immediately. Faye, I'm gonna kill you. You switched the videos, didn't you? Faye, get in Salvador's capsule. I'll try to say what I can. Okay, keep cool. The target isn't the power plant anymore, but the conference one week earlier. On March 21. No, wait, on March 20. And the year, the year, oh God, what did Salvador say? I hope I got it right. Probably didn't. <laughs> So where's Salvador then? She had to kill him or something or? The second time jump was different from the first one. The pain was excruciating. But I made it. With your help, we might be able to give mankind a second chance. Was all this Barney's idea? I don't want to be a spoil sport, but right now I am... I'm not joking, Svensson. You must help me save the world. Get out. Get out of my life. Did... Did you listen to a word I said? Without your help, I can't... Oh, you can. And yes, I did listen. And I did understand everything. And I turned the words around in my head. And now I want you to leave me damn well alone. Salvador, hey, it. dude, don't chicken out on us. What? There, he's tied up. Do you really think this is a good idea? He'll probably totally refuse to cooperate now. You mean, as opposed to before? What are these people? Some kind of eco-terrorists? And where am I? That was such an action movie look. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Chopper going somewhere? If I had a plasma drill, none of this would be a problem. Instead, I have a headache. And I'm bound to a shower handle. Welcome back to the real world, Bent. We have missed you. <laughs> have we? With my knees? No, with your foot, I guess. With my bare hands? Yeah, definitely. Um. Running warm water. At least their pipes are civilized. Sure. <laughs> so, use the shower. Yeah, sure. They didn't even have the decency to draw it closed. Well, this little bit of privacy should be sufficient. Did what? Well, what now? Mm, I don't know. We did something now. Curtain rod. My last straw. It can only get better from here. Can it? Use the curtain hum. Ah, my back. <laughs> Old man or no? There's still life in these old bones of mine. You'll see. I'm really impressed by how easy that was. That was kind of remarkable. Uh, but Lisa was against it. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Shoes and Melissa was against it. What? This game has got some rough translation going on, that's for sure. Luckily, I have a strong bladder. 
The flushing could betray me. But the sooner I can get out of here, the better. <laughs> A brittle wash basin covered in lime scale. So much normalcy is balm for my soul. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's have a look at the door at least. It's closed. <laughs> no shit. I can't hear anything. The rotor is too loud. Oh. Yeah, it's a f it's the fan. It's not a chopper. Poisoning the air doesn't matter as long as it doesn't smell bad. I can see a fjord down there. Thank God we are still in Norway. Ah, uh, okay, so we can open that. A Phillips screw. It was used to screw something to the exterior of the helicopter. Oh, it is a helicopter. What? It is a helicopter. Okay. I need more than my calloused fingers. Well, good thing there's a nail clipper then. Pretty sure you can use that. The thug's hygiene set. <laughs> now I only need a plan. Uh, well, working on that. Working on that. Aftershave, <laughs> sure. Spitzbergen Air. That was Barney's favorite brand. Until Lissa took a bottle of it to the lab. Great scent, but nasty stuff. Ah, yes. Look at this. Attention. Easily inflammable. In case of fire, do not inhale black smoke under any circumstances. Danger of death. Sounds great. I'll keep the beard, thank you. All right. Uh, well, there's another cupboard. A metal comb. I don't have to pretty up for anyone anymore. Those days are gone. Hmm. There we go. Uh, and there is... A, no, that one's already open. I was gonna say, like, what? There's not enough room there. Well, let's uh, use the nail clipper to get the screw. I am a scientist, not some kind of Dada artist. That was a Dada artist. Um, no. I wouldn't know how. I'm not even sure what you were trying to do. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, guessing won't get me very far. Definitely got to do set the aftershave on fire or something. There must be an easier way. There's no way I can open this, right? So they locked it. It was to be expected that the bonds wouldn't hold long. Not with my bare hands. Well, with what then? Use aftershave on it. I prefer a good solid plan before I start experimenting. Okay, so apparently that is part of the plan. Some things just don't... <laughs> yeah, I agree. That definitely doesn't belong together. Um, I wouldn't know how. Yeah, I don't know what they want me to... Um, no. Just... Blanking. I am a scientist. What what can we do here? I can see a fjord down there. Thank God we are still in Norway. Hmm. I prefer a good Okay. No. Um We've got a basin, we've got a screw, we've got a fan that I can't do anything Poisoning with. Poisoning the air doesn't there must be there must be an easier way of spreading this air around. There must be. I am a son. I'd better, I'd better not. I'd better not pour it away. I might still need it. Apparently, yeah. There must be an. Um. Okay, so what the hell can I use it with? No, there. I'm pretty sure there isn't. They locked it. It was to be. I can't hear anything. The rotor's too loud, even then. So clearly, there has to be a reason for that. Not with my bear. I can't hear anything. Yeah, because it's louder than it was 